Hi everyone, my name's Claire. And I'm John. And today we're talking about an article called Smoke Free. Uh, obviously, this is an article about smoking, but unfortunately it's not about free cigarettes. <laughs> That's what I was hoping for. Um, uh, but we're going to be talking about a, a generally positive thing about the reduction in smoking rates around the world and a very interesting new case of a new limitation uh, one nation has brought in to try and uh, further reduce uh, the smoking rates in their mm -hmm. country. Do many of your friends smoke? Uh, I would say quite a few. I think either habitually or socially. Like, you know, only when they're hanging out or drinking, right? Uh, which also could be habitually. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, I would say it's not uncommon. Um, in the U.S., I would say the minority smoked, but there was still a couple smokers mm -hmm. over there too. But in Korea, yeah, I would say above 50% easily mm -hmm. have some sort of smoking habit. Mm -hmm. And over the last, say, five or ten years, mm. have you felt like the number of your friends who smoke has reduced? I've, I've had the number of friends reduced because oh. they moved back to their own country. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. What? <laughs> what happened? They all died of lung no, cancer. No, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, not too much, but I've heard two complaints a lot more. Number one, I need to quit smoking. I've heard that a lot mm -hmm. more. Number two, there's no places to smoke anymore. Mm. Those are the two things that I've heard uh, complaints the most, um, or I've heard the most complaints about is those two things. But I would say the friends are, maybe have reduced the amount of smoking, but haven't stopped yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm. Would you like to live in New Zealand? Oh, I mean, I don't know about living there, but visiting would be great. Because mm -hmm. it is, I've heard it's very beautiful. Um, one of the most respected uh, prime ministers. Well, they, she just you know, quit oh, and everything. Oh, she's just yeah. finished, hasn't she? Yes. Yeah, but she's obviously respected around the world. And um, I think, you know, uh, for good purposes, <laughs> I liked her too, from what I knew about her, mm -hmm. almost nothing. But I think New Zealand would be great to visit. Living though, I heard they close everything very early. Well, as a European, that's not something I'm unfamiliar with. Um, okay. But again, yeah, I've heard it's, it's you know, very quiet, calm. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I would love to live there as an older person, maybe. Yes, after retirement, yes. possibly. Mm -hmm. Cute little, maybe a few sheep in the back garden, you know, a little tea room, mm -hmm. calm existence. Wow. See, I've planned it all out. That sounds really good, actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's mm -hmm. jump in and find out what new smoking laws New Zealand has just introduced. Oh, and we'll good. see you after you have read either the summary or the full article. Smoke free. Smoking is on the decline worldwide, and New Zealand has been leading the way. Although its smoking rates are already far below global averages, the government wants them to be even lower. A new law will make it illegal for anybody born in or after 2009 to buy cigarettes, no matter how old they get. Stores that disobey the new law will pay massive fines. Stores licensed to sell cigarettes will also be reduced 90% by the end of 2023, and permitted nicotine amounts in tobacco products will be reduced to non-addictive levels.